My anxiety has gotten worse, and I dread when my name is called. Karen in the USA I wish I weren't named Karen, Karen in the USA. I do gig work shopping for other people, and I've been dropped as a shopper, told that they didn't want a Karen to shop for them. I'm told to change my name. Why should I? Would the same be asked of literally any other person? The shopping groups I'm in uses the name so frequently I've had to leave groups because seeing your name used so frequently causes more mental anguish than people realize. This is not okay. We would not tell our child being constantly bullied to suck it up or change who they have been because someone decided to relentlessly target them. This trend is harmful and extremely bigoted. Karen in Spokane, Washington, USA. I've spent my entire life loving my name, and I've mentioned it to my friends many times over the years. Suddenly, I can't say my name in public. I have panic attacks anticipating having to introduce myself to someone new, especially if there's any young person or teenagers within earshot. I panic when I have to give a legitimate complaint or criticism for anything. I have to give an alternative name when ordering my coffee or restaurant reservations and making the slightest argument against my name being slandered only fuels the fire and it immediately escalates. Karen in the USA At first years ago, it was something funny. Now it's just stuck and it's so effing old. It makes me uncomfortable to be who I am and it makes me angry when I see memes and slurs. Karen in the USA The level of abuse of this name is unprecedented. It makes the simple question, what is your name, so difficult to answer for people with this birth name. There is a high probability of being judged unfairly on the basis of the name alone. You have to trust new people before you can share it. Every negative trait a person can possibly have is attributed to Karen. According to the meme, you prove your parents named you right if you dare to protest. Karen from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. I am ashamed of my name now. Karen in Columbus, Georgia. I'm a geophysicist. I work for a large company. I have been asked in meetings if I would like to use another name, my middle name, or just my last name on my badge. In meetings I have heard, uh-oh, the Karen wants to talk. I have gotten to the point where I am afraid to speak or give my opinion. I never do online anymore because I have been attacked to the point people have told me to kill myself and do the world a favor. So by having my name, I am no longer allowed an opinion. Karen from Houston, Texas, USA. I've become very introverted because I'm so embarrassed about what's happened to my name. I no longer look forward to social gatherings and I hate running into people I haven't seen since this awful trend started. I just don't trust other people to understand my pain and I don't want to deal with being laughed at or pitied. Giving and hearing my name in public is torture and I avoid it as much as I can. Karen in the USA I cannot understand why others refuse to understand how using Karen as a slur so deeply hurts us. I also cannot understand why so many laugh when we ask them to stop and why they use our kind request to carry out more abuse. Karen in the USA. I can't comment on anything even kindly as I get total strangers abusing me because of my name. It happens daily. Karen in the United States.
My voice as a woman has been neutralized. This isn't just about bullying or name shaming. It is a way to silence women and make them invisible. Karen in the USA. I have lost faith in humanity as a result of seeing all the cruel people gleefully destroying my name just for their own amusement. But I will never change my name. My name is my identity and I will never surrender my identity to gain approval from bullies and sociopaths. Karen from Boston, Massachusetts, USA. This is bullying at its best. This is so hurtful and upsetting that the name my parents gave me with love, and a name I once loved, has become a term for anything bad in this world. We are deemed racist, entitled, egotistic, demanding, and anything bad in between. I've even seen a thief being called a Karen. What next? Calling murderers Karens? This needs to stop. Karen in the United Kingdom. It is surreal that the targeted abuse, misuse of a proper name has continued this long. Even if I could accept it as a term, which I do not and I never will, it's useless because it's so overused for so many different things. Terms are generally definable and have a value as a descriptor. Proper names have no descriptive value beyond identifying an individual. Karen from Michigan, USA. I hate seeing it anywhere, but the worst is when it comes from people I know, and even right to my face, if not malicious, then totally brainless. Karen from the USA. For me, what seemingly started out around 2020 as cute animal memes telling their owner, mom, Karen, that it's time for dinner has, after three years, become depressing with feelings of hopelessness to garner change and stop the narrative on social media, TV, movies, news, and in businesses that Karen is a mean bitch, racist, and a vile human being. People say, okay Karen, but I'm not okay. I don't want to speak to the manager, yet my opinion and thoughts matter. I am a kind, empathetic person. Why do I have to explain that I'm not a Karen? when I am in fact a Karen, because that is my name. A person's name is the most personal thing we have. I still say my name proudly when at an establishment who asks for it or when introducing myself. I am proud of my beautiful name my parents gave me. When will this divisive trend go away? Only when people quit using it. Those who perpetuate this don't think it's a problem and or think it's funny are truly misguided in causing emotional harm to mostly older women who are named Karen. I'm sad. I'm beyond over it. Signed, Karen is my name in Las Vegas. I'm always anxious when I'm watching new movies, TV shows, and stand-up comedians. Fear for that I hear my name as a stand-in for racist, bitch, etc. I am fearful of how I'll be treated in a hospital and nursing home in the future. Will I be prejudged based on my name and race? I rarely give my name on food orders now, and I will put up with horrible service just to avoid speaking to the manager. I am also scared to think. What if I am wrongly accused of a crime and had to stand trial? With this asinine label, my name has become get in the way of finding an impartial jury. This trend is only a few years old, yet those who laugh and participate in it act like it's always been this way. I am shocked and dismayed by people's deliberate insensitivity and ignorance. Karen in Oklahoma, USA In Michigan, the public schools are teaching students that my name is a curse word. My grandson cried because I had him say my name. I was teaching them to know my and my daughter's name just in case he got lost. Also our addresses. Someone recently attempted to snatch him. He cried because he didn't want to get into trouble for cursing. Karen in Michigan, USA. The thing that hurts the most 
is the lack of empathy from people when you try to tell them the impact it has on women actually named Karen. And in my experience, they often double down and attack me for trying to tell them how hurtful it is. It is a dark, ominous cloud over my head as I go throughout my day and encounter situations where I have to give my name. I am positive that I have been treated with less kindness and disrespect once I tell people my name is Karen. The thing that is most mind-boggling is how many people actually think that women named Karen behave as the meme suggests. Karen in the USA I just wish this nightmare would end. I would never have imagined that I would ever get to a point in my life where I'm embarrassed to give my name anywhere, but sadly here I am. In coffee shops, drive throughs when making reservations, when speaking with clients. Every day, things that I expect most everyone else doesn't give a second thought. The absolute hurt. How can big corporate companies, social media platforms, public figures, celebrities, as well as everyday people think that this is okay when it's far from okay? It's not okay to make other derogatory comments, references to race, gender, sexual orientation. So why is this acceptable? I wish there was something or someone that would make this nightmare end. Karen in the USA While people who love me try to understand, I can see that they don't, and they think I'm being overly sensitive. I've been trying to find a job for months now. I can't help but wonder if I'm not being considered for jobs when I have a ton of experience because of my name. I hate how this made me view strangers' behavior toward me, and that I'm scared to give my beautiful name in public. I've explained this to my mom. She hurts for me. However, she doesn't understand, neither do I for that matter, why the name she and dad lovingly picked out for me is being abused like this. It bothers her, but helps when I tell her that I still love my name. Karen in the USA My name is my identity. As an educator, I am extremely attentive to being sure that I pronounce unfamiliar names correctly and that I do not dead name or misgender anyone. I find it difficult to understand why the widespread acceptance of the deep importance of names and naming does not extend to people named Karen at birth. My name has been taken from me. I hate to hear it spoken and whenever I read it, I cringe. I encounter the changed meaning of my name almost every day and I never know when I will be blindsided by this. This phenomenon cannot be fixed or undone. My name has been destroyed. Karen in Wisconsin, USA. I'm from Sydney, Australia. I find the whole thing degrading. I feel conscious about giving my name for food orders, etc., as the younger generation seem to use it more than the people my age, in my experience anyway. How can my name mean so many terrible things? It's very upsetting. Karen in Sydney, Australia. I have liked my name for 66 years and it makes me think of my now deceased mom and dad. I am now beginning to really dislike it. Your ears prick up when you hear your name said, but now instead of thinking, yes, here I am, I am thinking, oh no, what now? I love singing on karaoke, but recently on holiday, the compare said, would you like me to shout out another name when it's your turn? I felt like crying as no one else getting up to sing had this said to them. I have also been laughed at to my face when I have told someone my name. Why should I be made to feel embarrassed and upset just because my lovely parents gave me my name? I feel my identity has been stolen and I am not even allowed to complain about it. Karen from Wales in the United Kingdom. It's hard enough to be nice with antisocial personality disorder. Having to be extra nice because of my name when things are going poorly is actually painful. Karen in the USA. It bothers me, especially when it's directed at me, mainly because it feels like it's used against women to silence them. 
not necessarily because they are being racist or whatever. It is now mainly used against women that don't agree with you. I don't love it in general, but I try to ignore it. I also don't post or comment much because of it. I don't feel like arguing with uneducated idiots. Karen from British Columbia, Canada. Bullying is not okay. Karen from the USA. In this day and age where people are trying to respect all names and their proper pronunciation, why is the name Karen allowed to be disrespected? Karen in the USA. There is no scenario where using a personal name as a slur is acceptable. No exceptions, and anyone who tries to argue otherwise will eventually find themselves on the wrong side of history. Karen in the USA I'm sick and tired of being told not to take it personally by people who clearly don't get it because it doesn't affect them whatsoever, so why should it affect me? Some days it makes me want to just die so it'll go away. Everyone thinks it's a funny joke. Jokes are when everybody laughs, not when it hurts people. Social media is the biggest problem and nothing ever gets done. Karen in the USA. It doesn't hurt my feelings, it makes me angry that I am being insulted and my reputation defamed. I am being harmed in ways difficult to know and prove by the prejudice and stereotype associated with that name. A name I did not choose for myself, just as I did not choose my skin color. I recognize this as the verbal abuse and the bullying that it is. I won't tolerate it. It's not good for anyone's well-being to be constantly verbally and visually attacked and reprimanded as if we are guilty of all manner of vile behavior when we are not. It's ridiculous that we are degraded, defamed, and dehumanized and have no remedy under the slander and defamation laws. The sheer volume of people seeking their fame and fortune off this should be actionable. I believe in free speech, but draw the line with hate speech. Hate speech does not deserve to be tolerated on any media platform, and they should be monitored better than they are currently. This also affects teens and kids during their social development, and that also needs to be addressed. It's hard enough for the older ones with aging and health issues that come with that. Older women are marginalized enough as it is, even more so when they have this name a name that has been utilized as a weapon against any woman asserting her right not to be anyone's punching bag, verbal or otherwise. It sickens me to see other women so willing to use our name as a slur. That is a perfect example of internalized misogyny. Basically, it's insulting, and it is starting an argument with me. Don't get it twisted. I have the right to defend my own damn name and refute all the lies being spread about it. Karen from the Midwest, United States. While I'm 61, my youngest just turned 18. One day she told me to stop being a Karen. That probably hurt more than some idiot I don't know online. Not sure I got my point across how it is bullying. She hasn't done it again, but it was eye-opening to say the least. It's hard to understand why otherwise kind people can be fine with condoning the abuse of a personal name in this way. It's inherently wrong. Karen from the USA I am sick and tired of seeing my name used to describe a horrible woman. I have even had a complete stranger contact me privately on Messenger to let me know that I must be a horrible person because my name is Karen. I no longer have Karen as my name on social media, as I do not feel safe. To use a person's name in such a negative way is racist, sexist, and just plain cruel. Karen from Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. There is nothing good about using any name as a slur. 
This one is anti-feminist and hateful towards women and is being used to silence us. Karen from the USA. I have waited for this trend to die down, but it seems like it's never going away, which is extremely depressing. I am embarrassed of my name and I cringe when people use it in public. I feel I've withdrawn some from how I used to be because of the negative association with my name. I try to be good humored about it and try to make light of it, but it cuts me to the core. The abuse we endure is utterly infuriating when that type of abuse is not socially acceptable for any other group. Try making fun of any race, religion, ethnicity, or anything you'd be hammered. But middle-aged women named Karen bring it on Everyone join in and laugh. It blows my mind. Karen in the USA. I literally flinch every time I hear my name. I feel fear every time I hear it because I don't know how it will be used. Karen in Phoenix, Arizona, USA. I am from the UK. The use of Karen as a slur is not as prevalent over here, but it still happens. It's a way to silence women big time. I feel I can't comment on anything for fear of the backlash because of my name. I have to really think whether it's worth me having an opinion. The fact the name Karen is now being used instead of curse words such as C-U-N-T is absolutely shocking. There is also actually a film called Let's Kill Karen and a poster you can get which says keep calm and kill Karen. Women are being spat on just because of their name. Karen in the United Kingdom. I think that the use of any name is rude. Speaking rudely with or without attaching a name is rude also. I think people should grow up, come out from behind the computer screen and interact. Karen from Georgia, USA. It keeps getting worse. To see and hear my proper given legal name used in hate speech as a slur is beyond disgusting. It keeps escalating, Karen from the USA. My mother held me in her arms, blessing me with a name she loved. Knowing she would probably bury me before the week was out, my sister said, she cried all the time. I came early, only 10 months after my just older sister. I had a lung condition that killed boy babies, and I had failure to thrive. But she loved me, and she named me Karen, and I finally thrived. Every day now, my name is demeaned. I try not to feel diminished, but I'm glad my mother didn't live to see this. Karen in Seattle, Washington, USA. Thank you.